The Fortnite Chapter 3 pumps and shotguns. Do they need a buff? Will they get a buff? Why were they implemented this way? All these questions and more I'll be answering in today's video. What's up, everybody? My name is Matt, aka The Constant. In today's video, I'll be going over all the Fortnite Chapter 3 weapon stats, as well as talking about the current meta and giving my opinions about a perfect loadout. If you guys are excited, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. Your help is greatly appreciated, and there's never been a better time to subscribe subscribe because at 5,000 I'll be holding a giveaway. Now without further ado I want to start this video off by asking you guys a question. Do you prefer this meta or do you like the meta with powerful pumps? Let me know down below in the comments. I'd be very interested to see your thoughts and give me some reasons why you prefer one over the other. Now instead of me giving you my opinion right off the bat I'm going to show you guys the solid numbers and then we'll talk about what the perfect loadout could be. All right let's head on down to log jam. All right as you can see right here I've gathered up all the different weapon types and Fortnite chapter three and I got them all in their green variants so let's start with the AR starting with this one right here the Ranger assault rifle so first off we're going to start with the gray variant the gray variant does damage to players for 30 as I'm going through the numbers keep this in mind the damage to players is body shot damage so like this that's 31 because it's green headshot is going to do more damage and interesting the bots actually dropped the regular assault rifles so since the damage with this one is 30 the headshot multiplier would be 0.5 making the headshot on a gray one 45 damage you can also see magazine size fire rate and reload time on these stats moving on to a green ranger that's this one right here you have 31 damage 25 magazine size the fire rate is still four and the reload time 2.625 you can see right here that the blue ranger does 33 damage the purple ranger does does 35 damage and the gold ranger does 36 damage and as you can see as the rarity goes up you also have the reload time go down it's quicker so overall the ranger isn't bad you can see the fire rate right here and the accuracy isn't that bad either until you look at the other options so let's talk about the mk7 assault rifle if you haven't used it yet this is what it looks like to aim down sight you get a red dot sight this weapon does not have bloom instead it has recoil where the red dot is that's where your bullet is going to go but you have some recoil that you have to control when you use it now let's look at the stats this gray one right here the gray one does 21 damage now you might be thinking well the ranger's better it does more damage right no you are wrong the fire rate is nine on this bad boy so basically what that means is that the damage per second the dps of this weapon is far superior to the dps of the ranger to get the dps you do the damage to player times the fire rate so for instance the ranger assault rifle had 30 damage and it had four fire rate if you do the math on that it's 120 dps if you do the math on this gray mk7 21 times 9 is 189 damage per second on top of that something that is super important to keep in mind if you have a fire rate above seven that means the bullets are going to bleed through bills so someone's not going to be able to turbo build to protect against the bullets so the mk7 will effectively go through bills whereas the ranger will not let me just show you the rest of the mk stats the green one right here does 22 damage to players the blue mk will do 23 damage to players the purple mk7 will do 24 damage the golden mk will do 25 damage and then the mk comes in a mythic version the foundations mk7 assault rifle does 26 damage and on top of that has a fire rate of 10 the reload time obviously goes down with rarity and on top of that the recoil the foundations mk7 recoil is so so low so to sum up the assault rifles it's gonna be this over this every time in my opinion there's never a reason to pick a ranger over an mk all right next up we'll breeze through the pistol stats so the first one is the gray one damage to players is 25 the green one this one is going to do 27 damage to players the blue one will do 28 damage to players the purple side arm pistol will do 29 damage to players and then the gold pistol will do 31 damage to players pistols aren't the best weapon in chapter three but they're definitely not a bad weapon if you use them correctly next up let's Let's talk about the new sniper now give me your opinions about the new sniper down below but starting with the gray one 81 damage to players the green sniper will do 86 damage to players our blue sniper will do 90 damage to players the purple snipe does 95 damage and last but not least the golden sniper does 99 damage so what does this mean regarding headshots with the sniper well the green one did 86 damage so if i get a headshot with this green one right here like so 172 so thanks to that number 
However, we can conclude that a golden sniper with 99 damage to the body will only do 198 damage to the head, meaning that you cannot be one shot with a sniper if you have 200 HP. Let me know how you feel about that down below. I know a lot of players do enjoy that. All right, it's time. It's time to get into the shotguns. This one right here is what we're going to start with the auto shotgun, starting with the gray variant. This one will do 75 damage to the body. By the way, here's a tip if you ever want to see this stuff in game, just go to your inventory, hit the weapon that you want to check out, hit inspect right here, and you'll see it right here. That brings us to the green variant of the auto shotgun doing 80 damage to players. And I am rounding these because I'm not counting the point damage, but next up is the blue variant, 84 damage. The purple variant does 88.8, so 89 damage to players. And then the golden auto shotgun will do 92 damage to players. Now the reload time does go down with each rarity, but my goodness, is that reload time interminable look at this and this is indeed the fire rate of the auto shotgun the auto shotgun acts as a more user-friendly pump but the striker pump will do more damage if you hit your shot so starting with the gray one right here we have 86 damage to players the green one this one right here will do 91 damage to players the blue pump will do 96 damage to players the purple one will do 101 damage to players and the golden pump will do 106 damage to players so here's a question you may be asking can you one pump with a golden pump and no 174 is the max damage you're gonna do with a golden pump headshot and here is the fire rate of the pump honestly it is really slow and here is the reload time of the pump honestly still pretty slow there's also a slight delay when you switch to the pump as you can see it's not immediate but there definitely is a delay all right last but not least let's talk about the stinger smg on the screen now you can see the gray one right here with 18 damage to players now immediately you might be saying wow that's not very high damage but look at the fire rate my goodness it is 12. now don't get me wrong we've had faster smgs in the game before like the rapid fire smg but the damage on this one is superior to that of the rapid fire it still shoots really fast as well but moving on the green one does 19 damage to players the blue one does 20 damage to players and the reload time gets less and less with each rarity the purple one here does 21 damage and last but not least the golden one does 22 damage to players now if you want to talk about dps damage per second the stinger smg is king this one right here the legendary variant does 264 dps that is absolutely wild and you can see how quickly it'll melt someone like so if you have decent aim and you hit headshots with this weapon you're gonna melt someone in a second also the long range via ability is pretty good it's not that bad long range all right now that i've given you all the information all the stats on these weapons i'm going to give you my perfect loadout right now all right here it is this is currently my perfect loadout in fortnite chapter 3 with the current meta it is two stinger smgs an mk and two heal slots when i play a game like this this is how i get the most eliminations and the most victory royales currently with this meta we are definitely in a spray meta but let me show you a variant or two of my current loadout so if i really want to hold a sniper i'll sometimes replace an smg with a sniper like so if you like using a sniper this loadout might work for you but also if you just want one heal slot you could do this right here have one heal and then two smgs and the sniper i use a sniper once in a while but in all honesty if i'm looking to win i carry two smgs and two heals with the mk now that brings us to the striker pump and the auto shotgun are they worth using now they're not in my perfect loadout so you probably already know the answer but i would not use use the shotguns unless you have to unless you want to unless you're not trying to win the game and you're trying to get used to the shotguns for a potential buff i wouldn't use them if you are trying to win the game you have to play to the meta and currently fortnite is having us play a spray meta whenever i've used a shotgun so far in chapter three i have felt cheated i felt like i could have done the job better with an smg and rightfully so now with that out of the way it does raise a couple questions do the pumps need a buff and why did epic do it like this to begin with now my belief is epic thought that there'd be a lot of new and returning players coming to the game in fortnite chapter three if they had the pump in here the way it was before the players that have been playing the whole time would just demolish the new and returning players i feel like they wanted to make it so that anyone can win a fight here and the spray meta is definitely a way to do that now do the shotguns need a buff the answer is yes 
maybe not right at the moment but eventually definitely because no one is using the shotguns currently people are of course using them but using them puts you at a big disadvantage most of the time one of my personal favorite things about fortnite is how it makes players adapt so currently i'm down for this meta but eventually we're gonna need some viable shotguns back in the game they could do this by buffing the current shotguns they could bring the old shotguns to the game or they could make it so that we can craft shotguns or other weapons as well like the old ars we currently cannot craft anything in fortnite and there's a milestone telling us to craft weapons so i do anticipate that we'll be able to craft this season share your thoughts down below on what you think the best way to make shotguns viable again is or if you feel that it's actually perfect the way it is without the shotguns being strong either way i hope you guys found this video helpful and enjoyable if you did please leave a like and consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed i want this video to spark conversation and i'll be looking at your comments down below thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one